If you wanna go from a $50,000 a year salary to a $100,000 a year salary, it might not happen in the job that you're at. And it might not happen in the career that you're at within the time that you're looking to do it. Maybe it'll happen in the next 10, 15 years, but if you want it to happen in the next five years, you're gonna to have to take more active action. And that means you're gonna to have to start learning how you can change your careers, change your jobs, that way you can increase your income. Now, the first thing that you can do is just look at different companies to see if there are other companies out there that are willing to pay you more money. That way you can grow how much money you're making. But if you still don't see the upside potential to take you to the $100,000, to take you to the $115,000, whatever it is that you wanna go, then you're gonna to have to start thinking about a different career. Now again, this is not for everybody, but if you really wanna make more money, you're gonna to have to devote your time, energy, and money into learning how to do this. So now you got $10,000 sitting there, and you wanna now figure out how I can make an additional, or your first, $100,000 a year through your career. But now the question is, how can you learn a skill that will teach you how to do that? Especially if you're not an entrepreneur, you gotta have a real skill that you can sell to a business showing that, hey, I am good at tech sales. I am good at this thing that has the ability to earn me a six-figure salary. And that means you gotta start looking at some of the different careers out there and start investing and learning this thing. Because if you don't wanna go back to college, the next best thing is to get a certification online. That way you can learn a real skill that can earn you more money. What I also want you to do is, as you're starting to get more skills, I also want you to invest in your experience. Because the problem that a lot of people make is they rely so heavily on a piece of paper, this degree, the certification, this, this paper that says, hey, I'm skilled because this piece of paper says that I'm skilled. But what employers want, I'm telling you this as an employer, is they wanna see experience. They wanna see real life understanding of how to do this thing. And you're gonna say, well, Jaspreet, if I go out and get a certification, if I go out and get a degree, if I go out and do this thing, how can I demonstrate it before I go out and get a job? And this is where it's gonna require work but you're gonna have to be a little crafty here. Maybe that means while you're working a job and getting the certification, you go out and work for free somewhere. You go out and take an internship somewhere. Why? So you can build that experience and so you can learn how to do it yourself. That way you can market yourself better. Because now, if you wanna go and get those top jobs, you wanna go get a career that's gonna pay you a lot more money, you gotta be a lot more competitive. And in order for you to be more competitive, you have to show why you're better than everybody else applying. And when you have 100 applications for one job that's paying a lot of money, you gotta be willing to do the other things that the other 99 are not. Because the employer is not gonna pick the most average person out of the stack of resumes, they're gonna pick the top person or who they believe is the top person. So it's up to you to sell and show that you're the top person. And a lot of people think, well, if I can just get on a call, if I can get in this interview, I can show them that I'm gonna do whatever it takes. They don't care about that. They wanna see it. They don't want somebody who's gonna come and learn on the job. That's too expensive, it takes so much time, and it's too big of a risk for the company, especially when you can just hire somebody that already knows how to do it. And this is where now, once you start getting the certification, look to see how you can get some more experience. Now, if you don't wanna go work and do an internship for free, the next best thing is to do something on your own. Maybe you get a freelancing gig. Maybe you go out and create something yourself to practice this thing that you learned because there's a lot of different skills out there, but what you have to demonstrate to a company is that you know how to do this skill that the piece of paper has. And that's where, once you start doing this, you will have the ability in the next few years, because it's gonna take you a few months to go through the education. And then it's gonna take you a few months to actually apply it and get that experience. And then it's all about going out and getting the right job, getting the right career, which is gonna take some time as well, right? This is not something that's gonna happen tomorrow, but if you put in the work, like you're gonna take the extra time to learn, you're gonna take the extra time to actually put in the experience. In a few years, you can have a whole new career set with a whole new income and a whole new ability to put more money aside to get you to the $100,000 a whole lot faster. But it requires you to kind of take a couple steps back because you gotta invest some time and some money and some energy to learn. Then you gotta invest some more time to get the experience. Then you gotta get some more time to actually go out and find a new career. But if you're willing to put in that work, you're gonna be able to see the big upside because now you're gonna be able to make more money every single year and have more money to invest, have more money to save, and of course, have more money to spend as well. If you enjoyed this clip and you wanna continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who wanna stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.